aware that there are a lot of preachers who try to want to explain it away there are a lot of noise about it but it doesn't change what the, what the scripture says uh, uh, let me read it to you so you'll be sure Luke chapter 18 I said it is dangerous to just be rich but it is safe to be blessed it is what it is safe to be blessed and it is dangerous to just be rich anybody can be rich I've shared that before believer unbeliever you work hard you do whatever you whatever means you can be rich but not everybody can be blessed only those who have got Jesus can be blessed and I said that it is very dangerous to just be rich your life is in danger of hell if you are only rich because in first Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 the Bible says Paul speaking to the young pastor Timothy he told him he said warn those who are rich among you that they do not trust in uncertain riches it is dangerous to just be rich but it is safe your soul is secured if you are a blessed man because blessed means that you have Jesus you are empowered to succeed you are empowered to flourish and make progress praise the Lord now look at it Luke chapter 18 I want to show to you how that it is dangerous for a man to just be rich Luke chapter 18 we'll be reading from verse 18 through to verse 25 but I'm going to just pick a few scriptures I'll give you a, a, the summary of it I'll pick a, 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 a few scriptures on it. Just two verses. We'll read only verse 24 and verse 25. Now, in Luke chapter 18, from verse 18, the Bible tells us about a young man. I think he's called the rich young ruler. Now, this young man came to Jesus to ask Jesus about how he was going to get eternal life. And Jesus told him how he should go about it. After he, he answered that he had kept the commandment, Jesus told him to sell his things and come follow him. This did not go down well with the man. And you know the rest of the story he left and the bible says he was very sad that's just a rich man a rich man's life is only about money the blessed man life is about eternal life eternal life relationship with jesus is what he thinks about not anything else praise the lord then in verse 24 this is what jesus said in verse 24 of luke 18 verse 24 and verse 25 amazing amazing thing that jesus said here verse 24 and when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, talking about the rich young ruler, he said, when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, how hardly, now this is the words of Jesus, I'd like you to pay attention. I just told you that it is dangerous to just, to merely be rich. He says, how hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? Now, you, if, if you, you've been around this ministry for a while, you are aware that I believe in divine wealth, I believe in it because the Bible teaches it. God don't have a, any problem with you being wealthy. God has a problem with you being wealthy when you don't know Jesus. You see, it's painful when you see a lot of, uh, around us today, we, we find that a lot of men of God, they don't care if somebody is saved or not. So long as the person has brought some money, they are okay. But that's not what the Bible says. God is not interested in your money if you are not born again, if you don't have Jesus in your heart. Because that's what makes you safe. That's the only thing that's important. Praise the Lord. Now look at what he said. He said, how hardly, Jesus speaking in verse 24 of Luke 18. How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? Verse 25. For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. This is, this is a shocking statement coming from the mouth of Jesus. Now a lot of people make a lot of noise and drag about uh, the needle that it doesn't mean the normal needle sewing needle that a camel cannot go. yes it is true that that's not the meaning needle there refers to the the entrance of the gate in israel those days they had this short way they made their gates their city gates that when the camel reaches that place he has to bend down and be practically dragged into the city or out of the city as the case may be now it's very difficult to, for a camel to pass through that small door that is what is referred to as needle yes but the point is, Jesus wasn't trying to get our eyes on the type of needle. That wasn't what Jesus was trying to get our eyes on. The focus that Jesus wanted you to see, what Jesus wanted you and I to see, was that how hardly is it for they that have riches to enter into the kingdom of God. That's the point Jesus wanted to make. Riches alone, riches without righteousness, is in danger. A man who is rich and is not righteous, a man who is rich and does not, has not received Jesus, that man is in danger of hell. You can find you can be rich and go to hell. You can find rich people in hell. The Bible tells us about Lazarus and the rich man, and how that the rich man was in hell. 
Now, you can find rich people in hell, but you cannot find a blessed man in hell. There is nobody in scripture that was ever called blessed who en ended up in hell. Because the blessing is relationship with God plus riches. The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. Go for the blessing, don't go for riches. Go for the blessing. Because if you, I showed you when we began from Jeremiah 17, how to live under the blessing. Putting your trust in God. When you put your trust in God, He saves your soul. That's the first thing God does for you. He saves your soul. That's the most important thing. So when you are saved, that blessing has the power to make you wealthy. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, it says that you know the grace of God that though he was poor for your sake, though he was rich rather, for your sake he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich. This is the will of God concerning you. God is not scared of you having money. God is not scared of any of us being wealthy. In 3 John verse 2, the Bible says that I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. In other words, God does not just want you to prosper and be in health, full stop. No. He wants you to prosper and be in it as your soul prospers. Your prosperity and your health should be in direct proportion with your soul's prosperity. What is soul prosperity? Soul prosperity is simple. It's the salvation of your soul, your connection with heaven, your connection with God. God does not want you richer than the connection you have with God because that will lead you to destruction. It will lead you to destruction. That's why Paul said, warn those who are rich among you. He said, warn them. Give them. It's, it, it, the word the King James uses, the King James says, he says, charge them. Charge them. Warn them hard. Warn those who are rich among you that they do not put their trust in uncertain riches. Because when you do that, when you take your trust off the Lord Jesus, according to Jeremiah 17, you begin to live under the curse. And the curse cannot be in heaven. Praise the Lord. You see what I'm talking about? A man who is blessed and doesn't have God, his life, his entire life is in danger. He's in danger of hell. But the man who is blessed and has God in him, oh, happy are you. Happy are you if you are. The works of your hand, the Bible says, the blessed man, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. There is no, there is no, no, no particular thing that God ties the prosperity of a child of God to. There is no such thing. In fact, the Bible says that in all business, it says in all business there is profit. It says, but the talk of the lip, it tended to penury. In all business, there is profit. So when you, you follow the will of God, when you trust in the Lord, when you do the things that, or you live your life according to the dictates of scriptures, you can only be blessed. And when you are blessed, you are safe. When you are rich, you are in danger of hell. That's what the Bible says. Every time God blesses a man, wealth is added to the blessing. You can't find a man, like I said, who is blessed and cursed. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as a man that is blessed and cursed. But the kind of things that we have are people who are blessed and rich. I gave you an example in, 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 in Abraham, Genesis chapter 24. My prayer for you is that God will shine his light brighter and brighter in your heart in the name of the Lord Jesus. May God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.